Sharon here again. Today I want to talk to you about runes. The old writing system in Northern and Germanic tradition. But today I don't want to talk to you about the writing system. Today I want to talk to you about the magic side of the rune that I am working with. Rune, the word rune, it means mystery, secret. Uh, and every rune symbol has its own sound. And every rune sound has its own name. And every name, yeah, it is a kind of specific mantra or power word that you can use also in magic. Runes are the energies of nature, the life force. And those energies build weird, the net of life that we are all connected to. Working with runes brings this energy into our material world and is connected also to our inner selves, to our inner being. Um, for me, room reading or casting the runes is not about looking into the future. It's more like uh, which energies are around me at this moment or around the person that I do the reading for. Every rune, as I said before, has its own power word, an own specific mantra you can use also for casting magic. Once there was a, a special rune, maybe you read about it, the rune Tyr that was carved on the blades of the Viking warriors for, yeah, for the purpose of victory, strength in war. Yeah, there are a lot of examples like this, the purposes of magic, of doing magic with runes. Runes are very, very powerful and you have to use them very careful, mindful and also respectful. So, Casting the runes, it's not only on rune stones. Maybe you can go for a little walk in nature and see what runes are showing up for you, especially on the bark of a tree or branches on the floor. There are building sharps of runes. And then you can cast uh, the runes by a little walk in nature. It's only for me a really really great and beautiful experience to cast in nature not only at home with the stones yeah maybe you want to know a little bit more about runes so subscribe to my channel and leave a comment under this video and hope to speak to you soon again see you bye